Hello and welcome to the season opener for Contest of Speed EU2 here at Beauty Suzuka Track in Japan. My name is Luke, also known as Kaganis or Red Panda Pigeon Slayer. Tonight, alongside with me is Rob Star. Good evening, Rob. Good evening, Panda. It's uh, to be an interesting race today for uh, EU2. As uh, it is the first race for in the uh, tier. Yes, uh, last week on preseason in Bahrain we had uh, some pretty intense uh, race. Uh, so I hope for uh, repeat uh, tonight. Before we jump into quali, uh, you can see the graphics with uh, drivers and team allocations for this tier. <coughs> but now the most important thing is starting the qualifying session what do you expecting today rob i'm expecting some good racing from these a lot after they did show up uh, give a good show uh, last week in bahrain let's see um if some drivers can actually uh, improve like last time yeah we had the uh, intense uh, battle uh, with uh couple of drivers basically from start to the end a great comeback uh, <clears throat> for a couple of them so uh, I'm really looking forward uh, for uh, this race it looks like it's a bit cloudy tonight but uh, no uh, rain Ex no rain uh, that's lucky for us uh, let me quickly get the Truck map, and who is first one? I believe it's a Pookie okay. on the lap, so he will be our benchmark, and he might be a pole contender tonight. I have it. Traffic race could be a good one because these drivers are quick and they know how to race. Should I say? Not Tom's uh, saying to us rain in 10 15 minutes, so uh, we might see a bit of drops at the end of quali. But before drivers uh, start their laps, uh, a short update for the tonight's uh, competitions on the FA Cup. So Nottingham Forest is drawing one to one with Bristol City. And Villa is losing against Chelsea 0 0. The second half started two minutes ago on the second match. It looks like Pookie's about to start his flying lap with, um, I think it's Tisk behind him as well. Let's confirm. Yes, it is. It is Tisky close behind him. And uh, close behind Tisky is, I believe, Borja in uh, Red Bull. Here we go, Pookie's now on his flying lap now. Let's see uh, a how he little, do. A little bit of traffic uh, in front of him. <coughs> Let's hope that won't affect his lap. Three set to one he goes. Let's see uh, how quick he would uh, be through here. Because he's like a really important sector, should I say. Because you want to be the quickest through here. Yeah, you want to be quickest through here. Oh, uh, well, someone spun. Uh, it was the Aston Martin on the outlap. I believe. Uh, really nice exit through here. <coughs> Taking just perfect amount of curb on the exit. Oh, yeah, through the hairpin. Now. One of the most important traction zones. He wiggled a little bit on his rears. So that might affect his lap a bit. Now heading to the spoon. I like the name of the stern, Spoon. Yeah, it's a very good name, and especially a good corner, you know, if you protect <coughs> it, should I say. Because you really, really don't want to mess up here. Oh, and his teammate a was close to was that allowed, though? Told. make a bit of mess to his lap. Heading through the chicane to last turn. And benchmark for tonight will be one 
minute 28.091. Tiski improving this time immediately. 127.669. And there is a Haas. There is a Haas. Who was that? It was Hafendobak 128.1. Uh, plenty of drivers now heading to the line. The Salmon 128.1, Hilly 127.4. <coughs> there is a Hilly put a show on today after spinning in Bahrain. Natam 127.996 on P4 Dragon 127.844. Plenty of drivers now crossing the line. Borja with over two minutes, not the best time, uh, not the best lap for him. Crypto White 2808, so really close in front of Puki. Uh, and Wait, who I will be know. next? I believe that will be Alpine of Dynamic Duo. No, uh, or maybe Williams of or P of PW Jones, just in front of him. Hako, I believe. Hacker with lap invalidated, so let's jump into PW Jones, and he's setting 28.032, that's provisional P5. But drivers from P4 to P9 really close to each other. And dynamic up to P4 with a 127.866, so what's a great time from him? That's a point, putting in a poor performance last week in Bahrain. And uh, is that Brooksy? No, it's not Brooksy, so it will be Elite. But he is finishing his outlap. Both Ferraris on the outlaps. Uh, so maybe we got lucky with Kornishkak. Kornishkak heading to the line. 129.1, that's P11 for the time for Aston Martin driver. <coughs> and he is almost equal a second behind. 10th Haas of Hafendobak. Mm. Hilly with 5 plays grid penalty for collision with the Salmon. That is going to be painful for the McLaren driver. Uh, Hacker is blinking so he is uh, not on the hot lap. So let's stick for a moment with Elite who is on his hot lap, heading through the spoon and starting sprint to 130R and the chicane. <coughs> One ten point four after sector 2, that's good so it was time. Purple there. purple there as well, through the chicane he goes, about to make his lap, let's see where he gets up Rain. to now. Really nice and clean through the chicane. Last turn, and it's provisional pull 127.046. Four temps, though. Oh, what a gap. So I believe next one to settle up will be Vabu on Ferrari. Or maybe it will be Will in Aston Martin. <coughs> no, Will is. On start of the lap, Vabu 110.912. So I assume that might be time around Hilly. They're Here not wasting the, the time. Already. Nope. And P3 goes. Three hundredths of the second behind Hilly, so I wasn't that mistaken. Are they able to beat? Now we got Will going up to be a hairpin here. And jump into high or even mid 26. We all know that track evolution is quite huge in this game. Will is on the lap, but as I see, he is not deploying battery. Maybe he's saving it for another lap, maybe. Yeah, Could like, be. warming up the tires was a bit problem at this track. Also, the fuel consumption is not that low comparing to other tracks, so... We might see game shots. It was purple sector for wheel, but... Uh, second sector for wheel, but... 
for sure it wasn't and now we'll start it to deploying so his time was 145.8 but it wasn't his valid time I seen uh, end plate at the middle of the track I'm breaking zone to turn one but now will is going through the s's and a little bit of traffic in front of him first to pass will be mercedes of uh, brooksy who is on the out lap he's going out of the way will after first sector 14 seconds improvement but obviously it's not the benchmark meanwhile tiski is beating hilly with 27.3 and that's provisional pole for Alfa Romeo driver. I mean, not pole, apologies. Uh, pro provisional P2. Hey, Ferrari of Conza started well, his lap. Come on, spoon here now on this last straight. Should I, the second last straight now. Let's see how he, he'll do. 112.4 so this will be i guess uh, low 28s high 27s so somewhere around dynamic duo tom carter maybe borgia <coughs> we're going across the line US wide open across the line 29.2 not ideal time uh where's hako hako is heading to the spoon on his uh first volley attempt Last week preseason race winner. Huge boost morale for him it was. So let's see, 111 flat after first sector. So this is going to be a good time for Williams driver. And it's 27.7, that's provisional P8. Let's jump into Konzo, who is finishing his lap below 111 after second sector, heading to the line 127.4. That's provisional P4 for Ferrari. Tiski is retiring from the session. I believe it was in pit lane. Now Hilly, Hilly, lap invalidated. How about Matty on lap? Crypto White, five. Hi. Great penalty for collision with Babu. And Crypto, it seems like he is spun around Spoon as well. And Crypto was disqualified from the session from heading the wrong way. What was he that doing, man? <laughs> was not ideal for the Red Bull driver. Meanwhile, Matty heading through the chicane to complete his second attempt. Will he improve? Yes, that was improvement to P13 128029. Uh, it's not Konzo, it's Vabu. Vabu heading to the pit lane. Uh, now we actually I'll... see a bit of rain here now. Yes, it is. Seen a bit of rain. Would it affect the drivers though? My final so he decided to retire from the session. Kosalit. Heading to the pit lane, so he not trying to make one more run. How about the rest of the drivers? I uh, guess the drivers are going to the Ferraris pits now. are going to the pit lane. PW Jones on the end of his flyer, but he was over one second down after sector two, so I believe. That's our quality over. And looks like Elite will get P1 today. Yeah, Brooksy oh. after sector one over three seconds lost. Dragon is retiring from the session. So I believe nothing is gonna change. Yes, been the rain has started to uh, pour down. It's making the drivers uh, lose their lap time here. For a final lap. A dynamic duo and Borgia on the out laps, but actually Borgia is trying. 
to make a run. Brooksy is heading to the pit lane. So let's stick with Borja for a moment. A little bit wide on the exit of turn. I don't know. I never know. Is it one or two? More and more drivers yeah. are retiring from the session. And Borja after sector one. Two he tenths slower and now. he's gone That's out of the track. Not ideal. He decided to retire on the track. <clears throat> Let's look at dynamic doing now. I'm guessing he shouldn't, shouldn't make time now as the rain is still pouring down. Yeah, he's basically only one on the lap. But the conditions are getting worse and worse. And yeah, no, he decided to retire from the session. So Sadly on track. Over. Yes, that's quality over. So here is our starting, starting list. Elite and Hilly is the front row. Tiski and Konzo, P4 and P3 and P4. Vabu, Dragon, Not Tom Carter, Hako, Dynamic Duo and Pookie. That's our top 10. Going further ahead, we had PW Jones and Borja from P11 and 12. Mati Robo and Salmon, P13 and 14. Hafen Dobak and Cornish Kak from 15 and 16. Lanky One and Brooksy, 17 and 18. Will with 19 and Crypto White from P20. And now. Come on, boys. Just retire from the session. It's no point to <coughs> keep us waiting for the main event of tonight. No, I believe Borgia was saying sorry for uh, retiring from the, the, the track. And now, now they will blame me because I mentioned about uh, wet race <laughs> before the event started. Looks like we've still got Jones and Matty to retire, but they haven't yet. We we're just waiting there for the uh, session to end now. Yeah, we have one minute left and head to main event. Now, I'm really curious about the weather. Well, to be honest, is it raining in the race? Is there okay, anyone now knowing? we are waiting only for Matty. So we have to wait the whole 30 seconds now. Whilst that happens, I think it's going to be a close race in the top 10. Some people definitely can make some positions up. <coughs> Especially with Crypto when he disqualified. He could uh, bring it back up, you know, to what? Yeah, but maybe uh, last week we had uh, way uh, lower distance between uh, pole and uh, midfield. Now, Elite and Hilly are was really close to each other at the front then quite a big gaps uh, between uh, Hilly, Tiski and Konzo two tens uh, for each of the drivers Konzo one hundred sec uh, second uh, difference uh, with uh, Vabu so really close for Ferrari boys then pretty close grid uh, all the way down uh, from Dragon to Mati Robo, so from P6 to P13 it's only more or less 4 tenths uh, difference. Uh, Will was, I believe, struggling a bit uh, because he was uh, over one second uh, lost to P11. And um, almost no clouds, sunny race, so we 
might have dry race and I believe drivers will be pleased about that. Yeah, it looks like it is dry, Boone. Well, of course it is. Of course it looks like it is dry because it is dry. <laughs> but don't remember, don't uh, forget that uh, in this game, weather conditions might be changed quickly. So, oh, out in the sky, so we might be uh, fine. I'm watching predictions and I see only one uh, safety car on turn one. <coughs> like what happened uh, yesterday in EU2? EU3 yesterday was. Tonight oh, yeah, EU3. EU3. Oh, sh uh, I'm forgetting everything now. <laughs> yeah, EU3. Uh, uh, I already forget uh, who was the pole sitter, but. Uh, he dropped uh, one place uh, after the start and then uh, he went a bit too wide on the exit of turn one and touched the grass and uh, crushed himself. But here we go. Lights are flashing. Five lights and away we go. EU2 has started their season. Good start for Elite. A plenty of position changes on the midfield. A late... I see dropping a bit here as well. Yes, yeah, BWG is fighting with Pookie, having the back with Matty, but uh, most important for Elite. He kept the lead with hard compounds, and Tiski, who was attempting to attack him, is on soft compound. So he needs to heal overtaking Nat Town for P7. <coughs> So the question is how long Elite will be able to resist against Furious Alfa Romeo on that soft compound. Tiski is trying to the inside oh. on the spoon. And he goes a bit wide there. Elite. He's trying to get the switch back. A bit wide, but he was too far to make a switch back. Behind them, Kanza on medium compound. That's what is we can see. Let's risk a bit and check the tire strategy. So Tiski on Tiski. Oh, something happened over there. Something happened over there. I can't see who it was. Oh no, look, so the driver's gone off! Off and down back. It's gone Half off the track. and, and Crypto Dragon, is... Crypto. Crypto heading to the pit lane. It looks like Crypto's going to a new wing as well. Yes, so it is. Um, indeed. And it looks like Kondo's overtook Elite whilst that whole mess has happened. Half and back on P19. Let's quickly check is his car okay? I don't see any visible damage. Not Tom already with free second penalty for track limits. Matty Robo is fighting with Will for P14. And Ruxi is. Up. Look, Borgia is swapping positions with Dynamic Duo. Good attack from the inside uh, on the hairpin. Hacker already make a move to P4. I believe. Uh, he took that uh, mess uh, at the end of the first lap uh, just before the chicane <coughs> and gained some positions over there. Tiski is going away from Kons. Uh, Elite lost the position. Vabu is overtaking Kako. Elite dropped to P3 and he's losing distance to Kanzo. Kanzo is actually closing the distance to Tiski. Tiski got the tire advantage uh, on Ferrari behind him. Elite is already out of the DRS. So is Vabu behind uh, Elite. Hako is really close. And I believe he will be waiting for the opportunity to he make a move, move to back for this P4. But uh, Vabu, if I'm not mistaken, is on soft tires. Yes, we've seen that red stripe around. His tire and here, dynamics fighting with Borja to make to get P7 here, and he's made a clean move down the inside to sector one, the S section. 
What a move. Kept it clean uh, as well. I mean, you have to fully trust uh, your competitor to make a move uh, to on the S section on this track because it's so easy to make a mistake uh, and uh, crush yourself and your opponent uh, through there. Borja losing positions to PW Jones. PW Jones promoting to P8. And now he's the one who Dynamic Duo should be worried about. But Dynamic Duo is on mediums, PW Jones is on hearts. Will is overtaking Matty Robo for P14. Finally, Pookie overtaking Nut Tom for P10. So last point position, Nut Tom is oh. heading to the pit lane. What? Time, time and is Not retiring. Tom is retiring. It's early. Unexpected. What, that was there, definitely yeah. unexpected. Borja advancing to P8 after making a move on Dynamic Duo. It, it looks like Dynamic Duo lost two positions because I was pre I'm pretty sure that he was ahead of PW Jones a moment ago. Yeah, he was. He was. I don't know. Sadly, there. car of Not Tom is going out to to the track. Crypto White is closing to car to Alfa Romeo. Alpha is at the middle of the track. Now he's stopping out of the track. Meanwhile, Konzo is closing the gap to Tiski. Softs like... are not ideal, in my opinion, for no, uh, the start of this race. They will be dropping out pretty fast. But Elite's trying to cash up to uh, Babo here as well. Look at that time there. Nine temps there. Can he cash up? And he gets DRS from Babo. Yeah, Elite is on hearts and Babo is, if I'm not mistaken, on softs. And soft might be dropping out uh, at this stage of the race. <coughs> Borja is overtaking PW Jones, Cornish Kak overtaking Salmon. That's for P7 and P11. Hey, Will heading to the pit. Hit. Broxy swapping positions with Matty. They're side by side out of turn one and through the S's. Matty is ahead of Mercedes driver. P.W. Jones is pulling a pressure on Borja, but he needs to be aware on Dynamic Duo really close behind him. So it's Pookie. So Alpines are working together to make that position on Williams driver. And a bit ahead of them. Hilly is the lonely one. No DRS for him and no DRS on him at this point. Yellow flag, no. that's on sector one. Well. It's Will. And now Kenzo is and Will starting lap 6 of 27. Kenzo with DRS on leader dynamic duo dynamic duo and pookie they are losing plenty of positions dynamic duo oh. heading to the pit lane what's happened here he's pitting way too early but also he's getting a new front wing now yeah i believe oh, yeah, i believe it was incident on the chicane or just too aggressive on throttle uh, at the acceleration zone through the last turn. It's easy to lost uh, traction over there, especially because of that bump uh, mid turn. Right. They have caught up to the leader, uh, Vabo has, and everyone else except Meli, which has dropped back a bit from Hako. But looks yeah. like we're going to see a great battle between these guys, you know, all in the top five. So it looks like 
softs for uh, Tiski are dropping. Most and he will be suffering more and more. Well. We've seen Hilly went a bit wide on the exit of the spoon. Let's stick with Kanza, I think. That will be the best view for us. Kanza is closing again to our race leader. Is he able to make a move? Well, I believe it's he's too far. Yes, indeed, he was too uh, far back. Everyone. And PW Jones, Borja, Borja defending against Salmon, but Alpha Tauri driver was too far back to make anything happen, but. Be quicker for VS since he's on hard I and mean, Sasa quickly Matty, dying out. Matty and Brooksy are fighting another lapper row. This time, Brooksy is ahead of McLaren. Elite is starting to pull in a pressure on Vabu, and Hako is doing the same for Mercedes. Dragon and Cornish Cack swap the position. And we have full we cost have safety car. Look for it. Was it Cornish Cock who went off? Uh, yeah, it looks like he yeah, is he missing a front, front wing. wing. So now we can check the position changes. Who is the biggest winner? Crypto White drive mm. through penalty for speeding under the safety car. This race is going from bad to worse for. Red Bull driver. But. It looks like this softs are. Mm. The people on softs would definitely help him right now. A little Maybe the people, people mediums could pit as well. So the biggest loser for now is Dynamic Duo, who lost 9 positions, and the biggest winner will be Brooksy with 7 position gain. Now, let's check what our they going to do with tires, Elite stayed on track, Salmon stayed on track, Tiski jump in for fresh heart compound. He might be Double able to... stack for the Williams and uh, Huffman doing back has got a 5 second time penalty for speeding the pit lane. Yeah, unfortunate. <coughs> so, only leading Ford decided to stay on the track, the rest of the grid decided to swap their Tires, Tiski on Tiski, Kanzo, Hako, Borja, Vabu and Mati, Mati and Puki on fresh hearts. Dynamic Crypto White is retiring from the session, so I think that drive through penalty was the moment uh, when he said, No, screw that, it's too much for me. Hilly, Dragon, PW Jones, Half and Dabak, Cornish Kak on fresh mediums will on relatively fresh mediums and elite salmon brooksy and the lanky one on seven lap old heart compounds but i'm not surprised that they decided to stay i mean I don't see that uh, they would be able to finish uh, on fresh mediums, so maybe it was the better cho uh, call to stay on the track, but we will see that shortly, how much are they will be able to resist against Tiski and Konzo and Hako behind them. Well, let's see if the top four can actually hold their positions and not drop down too far back. But on people in the mediums, it looks like they would have to do another extra stop, so I know they won't last that long. Yeah, but they were starting on hard compound, so medium was a better choice comparing to softs at this stage of the race, and maybe they are hoping for the late safety car. I mean, when Mati is. Heading to and the again. pit lane once again, and it's another fresh of mediums for McLaren driver.
I believe safety car will stay one more lap. So race restart on lap 11 maybe? Or 10, but then that would be perfect for a new hard as well to last that long. The people on new hards right now could defo keep up to the end. Let's see who who was on the right call. Tiski, who now is net P1, Konzo and Hako, P2 and P3. Hill is close to them as well. Safety car in this lap, we got very soon. So, race restart from lap 10 of 27. 18 more laps to go. So definitely uh, Tiski, Konzo, Hako and uh, Hilly as well, I believe, uh, he's on hard compounds, should be able game. to complete the race. And off we go. Looks like yeah. Tiss is right behind Lanky here. Brooksy is... Like Attacking Brooksy. Salmon, Salmon on the inside, Brooksy on the outside, and it looks like Mercedes 1-2 for now. But Tess has made a move on Lanky here, made up another position, but it's pushing hard. And Lanky is losing another position, this time to Konzo. And losing position to Hako as well, so as to Healy, so not ideal restart for the Haas driver. Borja also really managed oh. to overtake him. We're not talking about, about Elite dropping his teammate 1.7 in the first lap already. Yeah. The A massive cap. Yeah, the people base, on the side are really Base good difference are huge between Mercedes drivers and Tiski is trying to make a move on Salmon already. Half and Dobak swapping the positions with Lanky. So huge drop for uh, Lanky, like uh, from P4 to, per to P13 in less than two sectors. After restart, Tiski will to will with Salmon. He's stepped back a bit. Oh, I believe there was a little bit of contact between uh, Tiski and Hako, and Hako free time. Three second penalty for multiple warnings. And looks like Hako. And it looks like Hako is. The other wing damage. Around. Yes, he is missing end plate, and he dropped to P11. But Dragon is pitted, and looks like he's just swapping ties, not getting a new, a new front wing. Tiski overtaking. The Salmon through the S's. Oh, Hilly and Konzo through the inside at the end of sector one, and they both managed to make a move. Now, Brooksy needs to defend to help his teammate. And Hako is dropping back very far with that front wing damage. It looks like it's not really helping him at all here. Yeah, missing the end plate on this track is horrible experience. Tiski is trying to find opportunity to make a move on Brooksy, but he can't find a place. Now he's side by side and looks like the move will be done before 130R. Tiski is in front, but they are really close to each other. Brooksy is not stepping back. But the move is finally done, and Tiski okay. might try to run from Konzo and Hilly. Dearest will be enabled next lap. And look how fast Tiski is catching up to Elite. 
is Kilns. really Kilns. pushing to that P1. Kelns will fight his way to overtake Brooksy. Healy now will... Be... And Machi Robo retiring from the session. It's full cost safety car. Oh, that could help Hakai. I've seen he's just pitted as well for a new front wing. And what compound is Hakka on right now? Dragon also heading to the pit lane. Because at this time, what would you do here if you pitted for new uh, ties? Go in again or stay out? If I would be on uh, Fresh Hearts, I would probably stay out on the track. If I would be on any ward compound like mediums or so i will go jump in for another set like hako did so now hako won't be able to overtake anyone under this safety car because uh, the gap is too big it's uh, 28 seconds but he will be way closer to the Pack, thanks to this uh, safety car. Not for elites going in. Tiski staying out, Konza staying out, PW Jones and Borja staying out. Rest of the field is boxing. So let's quickly check. How will tire situation look like right now? PW Jones stayed out on mediums. That's a little bit Correct. of a surprise for me. Yeah, the rest of the grid, uh, I see from Elite all the way down. Yellow those. stripes, so fresh mediums. Will on four lap old mediums, it looks like. And Dragon on free lap old mediums. Uh, I think the people behind Borja has a massive advantage. Because there will definitely last to be an uh, end as well. So, what I mean, we need to do is move up some positions. I mean, those hearts uh, also should be lasting to end of the race, especially that we have another safety car right now. But the question is what PW Jones is thinking about because he stayed out on medium compound. I really doubt that uh, this compound will be ready to finish the race with them. It could make some moves up to P1 and hope the people on hearts could defend against the people on new mediums. It could always still be a thing. I mean, five lap old mediums should have advantage uh, over hearts, but we have 14 laps to go, and uh, they will be dead in, I assume, about 10, 11 laps or so. So, just missing a bit. And the safety car could go in about, what, next or two laps? Dynamics pitting again. Yeah, I believe it might be a strategy call to swap the... And hard. Yeah, he's no time. Dynamic Duo is retiring from the session. I want to kept some racing, because you never know what could happen between these lot, you know. Because you don't yes. really expect anything from this, really. But let's see who's made up the most positions today, currently. So... I've got, like, it's multiple people, really. You've got Cornish Cook. Borja and Jones making up eight positions. But that might change for Jones as he is on a medium, six up old mediums. So the top four would struggle against the people behind them. So they definitely need a good safety car restart to 
try to pull away the best they can. But I'm guessing they wouldn't at all. Would you agree, Panda? I mean, I'm, I'm just wondering who is on the better position to win. Uh, uh, does Elite get enough pace uh, or uh, it will be hilly, maybe? Or maybe Pookie will be able to attack uh, from net P1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, I see now why Dynamic Duo decided to retire. Uh, he had uh, wing damage and Pit Crew decided to not change his wing. It seems like he's blaming someone for that incident as well. And a little bit of update for uh, all football supporters. Uh, Nottingham Bristol result uh, at the full time doesn't change, so it was 1-1. Uh, Chelsea scored against Villa and uh, it's additional time of second half. It's 0 to Villa and 3 to Chelsea. I got 3-1 here. You got 3-1? Yeah. So maybe Google uh, didn't update it, the result. Three one, surprisingly from Chelsea, you know. But you know, let's stick to the topic of F one here today. You know, <coughs> we need to have some uh, American people in here which don't understand football, should I say? I mean, they are calling that awkward, like soccer. Yeah, it's not called soccer. <laughs> I mean, uh, Americans are real because uh, they are throwing the weird shaped ball and they are calling that football like you really rare kicking that ball so what is the point of calling that football No, well, this is copy going to be slap. I'm guessing it, it should, right? Yeah, it should. Oh, no. We Wait. see Tiski is weaving a lot. We have confirmation safety car in this lap. Let's see how the Jones would do on seven lap mediums. It's going to be a, a difficult race for Jones. Well, yeah, what? It's not going to last, what, 10 more laps or 12 actually? Yeah, we have 12, 13 more laps to go. And PW Jones is on quite wear worn medium compound. Tiski is pulled away. No one left behind. Borja is closing to the PW Jones. PW Jones is closing to Konzo. No moves happened. So everybody's sticking. Ruxi is here. close with Hafen Dobak, but, but let's see also other people. no moves. Let's see how other people do on the old uh, ties for his VS section. Where they lose a uh, grip to lose it, but it seems like we are sticking on to the track here. Yeah, yeah but, but Elite is really close to Borja. Swap positions because between Bruxy, Hafen Dobak, Hakka all overtaking Will as well. Hilly overtaking Salmon. That's a clean move through there. Now through there. Cornish Kak fighting with Salmon. That's making a move. Yeah, but now Quite Pookie is waiting for opportunity to make a move on Cornish. Hakko gaining another position. Lucky one. And Lucky one spans out. Is he only contact with anyone? I didn't see him like it. Uh, I mean, he was close with Hakko Drag and Dragon. At some point, so that could be a possible contact. And apparently, Steve Summers, um, since they lost out of the chicane and the safety car restart. Yeah, and Elite is looking for the way to overtake Borja in front of him. It looks like PW uh, Jones is still keeping P3 here and, all, and nine lap old mediums. 
Yeah, I mean, it was like four laps of safety car for uh, his compound, so uh, they are in better condition than uh, graphics show us. A, lit a little bit wide, lucky that he didn't spam on the grass on the exit of turn two, let's say. I'm hoping I was right. PW Jones is close to Konzo and Tiski is creating a bit of gap in front. But the gap it's is not safe, he's still oh, under the threat. Vabu uh, overtaking uh, Puki and Puki is dropping back. Pavelli is going down the inside of Borja, down for the hairpin. What a move down the inside. Hafen Dobak Borja overtaking really Bruxy. And Vabu, but wondering what happened to Puki because he lost like five positions in one corner. Bruxy has hit, Bruxy has hit Dragon and he's going over a wing. Yes, so unfortunate race for Mercedes driver. And looks like there's a. And, and Hako, Hako, Hako is out! Puki. Safety car! Hako is out of the race and it's full cost safety car. And now, if you have fresh medium compound, what's, use it. I'm not sure what happened to Vabo. It did drop a bit, right? It looks like the third safety car of this race, surprisingly. It looks like most of the people are spitting and I've seen Konzo has gone to soft. But were they lasso to the end? And surprisingly, Elite okay. stayed out on 5 lap old mediums. Borgia stayed out on 10 lap old hearts. Hilly. Kornishka and Hafendobok and Lanky One on five lap old mediums. Tiski on fresh mediums. Bruxy on fresh mediums. Rest of the grid for all the, uh, from Konzo all the way down to Vabu on fresh softs. So I do believe Tiski and Bruxy got the tire advantage. It might be a bit too far distance for that soft compound. All time and Chelsea wins against Aston Villa 3 1. Surprising. And let's get back to this anyway. But like, I had Hako and Puki crashing. I'm not sure, I didn't really see it at all. I legit see Hako and Puki gone off the track. I don't know what happened to them two. And looks like so. The people, the top six are on old tyres, elite, five laps on medium. Same as Hilly, Cornish, Hoffman Dunback and Lanky. But then you got Borgia on ten lap hard mediums and everyone else on new softs. Then Broxy's on me new mediums as well. I mean, I'm afraid that Borgia will be the biggest loser of uh, this whole situation. Definitely. Hilly and Elite all way fresher tires comparing to Red Bull driver. Uh, so I do expect that he might drop quite fast. So apparently to Hako, the guy in front of him spun and collected him. So I'm guessing <sighs> Puki spun and collected Hako, which made him uh, crash out. Show the tires again, so here's the situation. Borja on 11 lap old hearts. Elite, Hilly, Kornishkak, Hafendobak and Lanky One on 6 lap old mediums. Tiski and Bruxy on fresh mediums and rest of the grid on fresh soft compound. I think the people on soft could have an advantage here. If it uh, ends, I mean, I'm guessing it will end next lap or this uh, lap. We seen uh, that on EU4 two days ago. Mm, actually, it was a similar time when we had the uh, safety car and uh, medium compound had the advantage, especially at the end of the race. Oh, that means Tisk and Broxy would give it an advantage then, but Broxy, I'm not sure if he could make some positions here against the people in front of him, which are on new socks. And Tisk can make some moves up. Yeah, and uh, 
picking up out the front. He needs to overtake Borja as soon as he can and then pray that guys behind him, so both uh, Haas drivers and Kornishkak, will block Tiski as long as they can to let him run away. And so now, this car I'm going to slap. I don't know yet. Don't think the safety car is going to miss that. No, is it? No. The next no, lap then. What it is do? on this lap. No. Oh. Really late call for the safety car. Oh, let's see if you can get the best restart here then, eh? When Elite decides to pull out. And not quite it's a quite big, big uh, loss for Kornishkak. And Hilly. And some drivers there as well. Hafendabak is like chasing. Is move on Lanky. We're going to drop back to that. Looks like Tiss is really pushing Lanky for the section here. Has anyone yep. made any positions? I don't think anyone has yet. Lanky positioning himself really well to defend against Alfa Romeo, but he made a mistake and Alfa going to the inside. It's a move down. One position closer. Now Lanky needs to focus on defending against Kanzo, I believe. He overtook Borja onto the hairpin. Dragon overtaking will for P11. And Elite is ready. Konzo, Konzo is Elite. overtaking Lanky One. Have you seen the, uh, Elite dropping P2 again? It's done this every single time when he's been in P1, dropping the person in P2. But we have Pookie, a, Pookie Span. Pookie. Again, Ran Spoon. That's the second time now. He spins out. Lucky it was no safety car. <coughs> now Hilly and is Lange closing up. Back a lot. I'm guessing he has fun. A lot of action down closing to the hairpin. Cos Elite with fastest lap of the race so far. But Dragon immediately beating that. Let's currently waiting behind the drivers on all ties here in front. He's waiting patiently for him to make a mistake so he can make the move here. Oh, and span! Span it! That was great. close to huge incident because uh, Kenzo was really close to Haas as well. So, Havendobak, by minor mistake, almost collected Tiski and Kenzo. Oh, Potentially pretty, PW Jones yeah. could be involved over there as well. No really bad exit for Kornishkak and yeah. Tiski is taking P4. Now we go around Spoon here. Borja no. dropped back quite far behind Hilly. This is really pushing it, especially on the mediums. Surprised someone's on the soft has made up any positions yet, still being behind up and back on eight medium. Well, eight we see medium. yellow flags, it's Pookie again. Ran and Tisky going time. to the inside to the chicane. And Dragon really close, and nearly Jones. touching his gearbox uh, at the last turn. And it looks like move will be done before breaking zone to turn one. Yes, it is. And close behind him. Dragon is game. overtaking Konzo. Dragon is going to the inside and looks like he managed to overtake Havendobak. Konzo Ooh, did it as well, yeah, but Has is fighting back. Kenzo Jones went a bit white and Jones losing the position to PW Jones. There was a minor contact. Uh, I believe 
Kunze touched the gearbox of uh, Williams in front of him on the exit of uh, Hairpin, but uh, I assume no damage for any of drivers involved. Now, let's go to, to Dragon and Borgia. They are currently fighting for P3. P4 and Dragon and making a move before 130R. Yes, he did. He makes a move up to now, P4 Chis now. What is the one pushing? Chiski is closing the gap to Hilly. And we see yellow flags. It's Will. It's Will. Oh, he's sliding so much. Vabu managed to overtake Salmon for P10. Konzo overtook Hafendobak for P7. Oh, and Tiski is, is really pushing to catch up to Elite. Yeah, and uh, he has Tiski really close behind him. Kanza overtaking Cornish Kak just before end of sector one. Lanky one overtaking and Will, and it's Will. yellow flag. Will again. I think Will spun again. I don't see any damage on his car, lucky for him. So now he needs to focus. Oh, bro, he's uh, Konzo, Konzo, Wait, what I happened to Konzo? He just reset to the track. He just spun out the head. The head yeah, and, and uh, I see and played on the inside of the exit, and Konzo is retiring from the session. The reset to the track and retiring on the, the, se on the straight there. Bit of a straight, and I think it's gonna rain, you know. It, lo it looks like a bit cloudy, but I don't think it won't rain at all. No, I believe the rain won't happen. And Tiski is Hilly. overtaking Hilly for P2. Now he has four laps to find a solution to overtake Elite in front of him. And he is cashing fast for this S section here. Yeah, he had a lot of tire advantage, like uh, it's uh, five lap uh, fresher, uh, medium compound. Yeah, yeah right there. Lanky is mm. dropping to a position to Will now. Will's, uh, They're fighting quite tight. Salmon is yeah, losing position to Brooksy. So I'm guessing at this point, South would start dropping now. Would you say? Yeah, it could be the issue. Brooksy is closing into Vabu, so yeah, it looks like those softs are starting to giving up. Especially a track round here, which you really need a lot of, should I say, grip, should I say, you need. Tiski, meanwhile, second behind Elite. He managed to gain half a second through this lap. Get the arrest, and he don't. No, it looks like he won't. And Healy off. will get the arrest on him. <coughs> Dragon is too far back to be involved uh, to this battle, at least for now. But look at this. Off and going back, trying to make a move on Cornish Crook here with DRS enabled. But looks like he's absolutely bum drafting him here. Down the outside, can he go? No, he cannot make the move. And both are out of battery. Behind them, PW Jones uh, fighting with Vabu, and Vabu a little bit in front. Ooh. They are side by side for the SS, and See. Vabu kept his position. It also is trying to make another move on Huffendo back, but he can't. He got pushed a bit wider, and he dropped it a bit. But it looks like this is now in Elite's DRS from the next DRS zone, which is just on that start and finish line straight. Yeah, and it looks like Dragon is closing up to Hilly, so he might be involved for this podium battle as well. But Tiski is not closing the gap that fast as we were expecting. But Definitely, he will have DRS advantage at the start of lap 26. Right, but the no. question is, 
is he able to cl be close enough to make a move? Did he get the Arasso? I'm not sure if he actually got it. I think he has. No, Tiski don't have the RS. Tiski don't have the RS, and Hilly have. Have and Dobak swapping the positions with Vabu. But Vabu got battery advantage on the house driver. He's going to the outside. And it looks like move is done before breaking zone to turn one. To Ferrari advancing to P7. Vabu is really pushing it. He's trying to get the move on Cornish Cook here for the S section, but he's in a bit wide. And you've got Fendo back still behind. Lanky overtaking yeah, Will is out of the track and he is retiring from the session. And Tiski, I don't know, really was it a uh, graphic mistake or something, but. Uh, Tiski was over a second behind Elite. Vabu, Vabu made a move on Kornishkak before the spoon turn. And now Aston Martin is on the threat from Hass of Hassan Dabak behind him. Dragons drops it again. He was in with DRS, but now he's not. But there's a yellow and flag. Yellow flags, it's, it's Pookie. Pookie once again Fourth with problems through the spoon. Fourth time now, you know. I'm counting it. Tiski is too far back to make a move on the lead. Yeah, it looks like Tis is dropping it and pushing it again. He's gaining and not gaining. But look Tis. like he's gaining through his X section. S section, because yeah. It would have a tire advantage still. But now, I'll just realize we're on the last lap now. Yes, we are. Bor really, he's got to push Borja it under the tr pressure from Vabu. And just make the move here for the hairpin. He might try to dive in. No, he is not. Goes a bit wide to get that more speed. Now, will Vabu attack Borja to the herpin? No, he's not. A little bit of contact between Kornishkak and Hafen Dobak. Puki, meanwhile, retiring from the session. It looks like he lost the traction uh, at the end of Sector 1. And down the straight now, we've got Elite and Tiss. We're both pushing their ear arrest on the straight now. He will it close behind it them. Would it be strong enough? All of them. Flashing with red yeah. light. Tiski from the outside. Hilly. Oh. oh, and he spun out. He's pushed that a bit was too, too optimistic move. So Elite is taking the checkered flag for win in Japan. Tiski taking the second place. Dragon, Dragon for P3. Hilly P4. Borja P5. Vabu P6. Kornishka P7. Hafendobak P8. PW Jones. P9 and Brooksy closing the point position. What a race. Tiski was close, but not close enough. Lanky one set as driver of the day by the game. Yeah, Hilly pushed it a bit too much on that chicane, should I say. Yes, uh, Salmon finishing at P11, Lanky P12, uh, Pookie <laughs> P13, Will on P14, Konzo, Hako, Dynamic Duo, Mati Robo, Crypto White, and Nat Tom placed as did not finish the race. Six drivers DNF'd. 14 drivers to complete the race. Let I can't me. lie, Elite did amazing today. He, um, when he was fast, he kept him dropping P2. And he yes. kept that position all the race, all, all the way. After after the last safety car restart, uh, he took the risk to stay out on uh, a bit used medium compounds and uh, it paid off for him. Uh, let me 
And we've got some news here. Apparently, uh, Conzo's broken his wheel. His wheel's been broken. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Uh, Elite, uh, Tiski, and Dragon are guys to invite uh, to for interviews. How many times did we have safety car out race? Was it three or four times? Because that uh, was a. I believe it was three. Three. So many, man. So invitations was sent. Let's give those boys a few moments. Okay, we are waiting to 15 past. So 30 seconds more, maybe uh, Dragon or Tiski will decide to join us because Elite is here with us already. It was kind of it was very intense at the end. Yes, indeed, it was really intense. It looks like only Elite decided to join us. Good evening. And uh, first of all, congratulations uh, for uh, winning on the season opener. Thank you very much. Oh, wow, I had to work for that one, didn't I? Oh, I uh, yeah, uh, just a few moments uh, before you joined us, uh, we were chatting that... Uh, Staying uh, on the last uh, safety car on that uh, not that much used soft uh, paid off for you. You were able to run out. Uh, Borja blocked uh, a bit hilly uh, on uh, quite used uh, hard compound. Uh, so it looks like it uh, you took a risk and uh, it paid uh, off really well for you. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, I gotta give a massive shout out to Ricky. I mean, Ricky engineered me, and uh, he he was he was the boss. Like he told me what to do, and I followed, and uh, the plan worked out. I mean, uh, Roxy didn't have the best qualifying. Um, doesn't really show his uh, his true potential, like, but yeah, he he pulled it back and secured the point, which is good for the good for us. Uh, I mean. I was in the call with him and he had a few incidents and stuff, but I mean to get to get a point out of the situation he was in is is really good to him. Um, but yeah, I I knew I had to get rid of Borja quite quick, uh, just because he was on the hards that I knew he was gonna sort of slow me down and hold me up. Um, and that's why I wanted him to do with Hilly basically is for me to get rid of him, pull a pull a, a good enough gap to where. If towards the end, Tisk, because Tisky was the only one I believe on fresh mediums. Uh, uh, Tisky fight. and uh, Brooksy were the only ones who decided to jump in for fresh uh, mediums at the last safety car. Yeah, so I I knew that uh, Tisky was my was my biggest threat because I had pretty good race pace, but I know Tisky on fresh mediums would have been quick as well. So I wanted the clear Borja. Him for him to back Hilly up, which exactly happened, and then Hilly started backing Tisky up, and then on the second to last lap, Tisky got through, and I mean, it was just a straight fight towards the end. We sort of had the the best pace, and I mean, yeah. Like I can it imagine that fun. last couple of laps was uh, really sweaty for you. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. Defending I, I against the. Uh, I don't know if you've seen it on the stream, but I was a. Uh, it was a few times where I, uh, I almost uh, binned it, because I mean I was taking I was taking the curbs and trying everywhere, because I knew he was quicker in the first sector, because every time I was looking, he was gaining like three or four tenths, and I was like, if I need, I I'm a little bit quicker on the back straight, but if he's got my slipstream and a bit of ERS left, then I mean it's gonna bring it down to the wire, which it did. I mean, I don't exactly know what happened between Hilly and him in the last chicane. But I mean, he was about a tenth behind me before going into that chicane. So Man, I mean, uh, that, that's what it cut down to. I can say because uh, we've seen that uh, clearly. Uh, Hilly was uh, 
let's say way too optimistic on diving uh, to uh, Tiski on the uh, breaking zone to the chicane. Ah. So that uh, I believe helped uh, you a bit. Yeah, I mean, I sort of sort of knew if I was going into the chicane first and had a good exit that it sort of would have been mine. But yeah, I mean, Hilly helped me out even though he's not my teammate. <laughs> so, so now I'm dropping the mic and Rob. Uh, Elite is all yours. To be honest, uh, all I can say it was an amazing race from you. Uh, how did you feel after? Well, when Tis overtook Hilly, and there was just you and uh, Tis left. Right. Uh, I mean, yeah, I started panicking because I mean, obviously Ricky was telling me how close he was. Uh, he was gaining, and I mean, I I pulled. Uh, I think it was about just under two and a half second gap. Uh, which I was maintaining against Hilly, and then as soon as Tisky cleared Hilly, I mean that that gap come down rapidly. So I, I knew uh, Tisky was either burning to get like to catch up with me, and it was just going to be a straight raw pace fight to the end, which I believe it was because I think we were both flashing. Um, but yeah, I mean that that could have gone any way. I mean, I I burnt everything to to, to stay ahead, and I like, you know I think. I think if Tisky had a little bit more ERS, I think he would have he would have got me on that back straight. Yeah, probably he would. But uh, if I'm not mistaken, you both started to flashing more or less at the same point. So uh, he hasn't that uh, much uh, battery advantage on you. No, uh, I mean, I think the only the only advantage I'd, he had over me was, I believe, was it five lap new mediums? Yes, yeah, three exactly lap new mediums. Lap. I mean, the first safety car helped me out because obviously I, I stayed up well. I stayed out on the hards, um, and then pushed the hards, and then obviously the second safety car then sort of helped me out because I boxed for the mediums, and then the third safety is it was it a third? I think it was a third. Um, I boxed, uh, no, I stayed out and Tisky boxed, and then I knew then was it was going to be a, t a tough battle. I knew every every lap from that safety car would I was I'd have to push. Uh, I have to say, uh, Tisky is shooting out uh, on you uh, on uh, Twitch chat, uh, saying well done uh, to you, and thanks for the driving. Yeah, GG Tisky. I mean, if it's going to be like that all season, I mean, I'm going to have a, I'm going to have a hell of a job. I mean, uh, I know there's a lot more boys in here. They're a lot, uh, just as quick. So, I mean, I'm, I'm up for the battle. I, I want to be, I want to be up there. So. You wasn't attending uh, pre-season race in Bahrain. Uh, correct me uh, if you did. No, but. Uh, I know I'm going to say this because I know that the 21 people that are watching, at least some of them are Chelsea fans. But uh, I watched Liverpool absolutely decimate Chelsea 4-1 that day. So unfortunately, I couldn't make the uh, couldn't make don't, three season. Don't, don't remind me about this, please. <laughs> uh... yeah, I mean, I can... Uh... I can uh, I can safely say yeah I missed that but, one. But uh, speaking about uh, precision race, uh, because we were chatting uh, here with Hacker who won that race, and uh, we agreed that uh, here in EU2 there is uh, probably 11, 12 uh, drivers at least uh, with potential to fight for uh, race wins uh, this season. Uh, so what do you think about this? I I agree, I absolutely agree. I mean, you know, I've raced I've raced with probably say ninety ninety five percent of the boys that are in this tier, and they're all quick. I mean, we're all very similarly paced. Um, like I uh, I've got good quality pace, <clears throat> but when it comes to race pace and stuff, uh, I lack on that a little bit, which I know like the boys are a lot better. But I mean, yeah. I, I like to win more, but it's not going to be as easy as uh, what I want it to be in that sense. I know there's a lot of boys in here that are gonna are gonna yeah, be breathing down my neck for the next win in Zambo, That's for sure. Uh, 
but I have to say, and uh, I believe uh, Rob uh, will agree with me, uh, twice uh, under the safety car you stayed out on uh, worn tires and uh, you were able to uh, run away quite quick uh, from uh, drivers behind you, so maybe that might be your secret weapon for this uh, upcoming season. My secret weapon for the safety car number one was Broxy being an absolute team player. That's for sure. Yeah, that's uh, that's true. Uh, I have to say, uh, I was watching that and uh, uh, Broxy uh, was uh, holding the pack uh, pretty well uh, behind you. Yeah, I mean, I, I owe Broxy big time for that, especially for that first safety car, because I mean, I was on... I think it was like 16% old hards, and I know everybody behind me box from newer hards or newer mediums. I can't, I can't remember what it was. Uh, it was I mixed, knew I was going to struggle. It was mixed between uh, hards and mediums, uh, but uh, you uh, were a bit lucky with uh, that help uh, Brooksy uh, made for you because uh, he managed to. Uh, overtake a uh, driver who was splitting uh, both of you uh, quite fast and uh, that was a huge advantage uh, for both yeah, of I mean, you basically it was a pretty pretty early call in fairness um obviously broxy uh knew so broxy sort of made that decision very early that he was just going to try and help me win um we said we sort of said that um so I think the the plan was for us to both stay out, get track position, um, and then yeah, Broxy just did his part. I did my part by you know trying to go as quick as I could, which I gained two and a half seconds. And then I was just fortunate that obviously the safety car came out, so I was able to box. Um, and then obviously I was on six lap newer mediums um, under the second safety car, so obviously I could gain gain all that time back basically. And then when the other safety car come out, then I just, I stayed out. I was just fully committed. Because I, I, I mean, when this third safety car come out, my, my mediums are only about 4%, 5%. So I just yeah, stayed was, out and, and I just was, hoped that my, uh, my race pace was going to carry me through it. And It was in theory, uh, five lap old mediums, but, uh, in matter of fact, it was, uh, four laps under the safety car or something like this so yeah i mean it was it was three laps under the safety car and it gave me seven laps basically on on the mediums i know i knew people were on fresh but looking at the tire wear and looking how my tire wear was on the hards i knew that my the the, the wear is pretty good so we just stuck with it i stayed out unfortunately boxy had the box because i believe he had wing damage because i think otherwise he would have just done the same he would have uh, would have stayed out. Uh, yeah, I, we believe, just battle, I believe. I believe he, he lost the uh, front wing uh, completely. Uh, somewhere closer to the end, but he managed to go back to the point uh, position. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, that, that's a that's a great recovery drive from him. I mean, he he helped me secure the win, and, I, and I'm glad he got a point out of it. You know, it help helps him, and it you know it helps the team as well. But uh. Okay, so I don't, uh, uh, Rob, I don't do see him have... finishing lower than uh, lower than P10 this season. He he's definitely going to be winning a few races himself. Uh, I, I can uh, I can guarantee that. Well, what? Uh, of obviously, if he stop being that uh, unlucky, uh, heartbreaking uh, race end uh, at the preseason uh, when. Uh, his teammate, uh, who was replacing you, uh, spun out in the last corner and uh, he took uh, Brooksy out, so both Mercedes uh, DNF'd at the uh, last turn. <clears throat> yeah, so it's a bit unlucky, uh, you know, I, 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 I sort of felt like I had a bit of responsibility for that because, you know, I I give up my seat and, you know, that sort of thing. But That's... me me and Brooksy have raced together in other leagues and, you know, we were... Uh, pretty strong team together I mean I can race side by side with him no problem at all and I know he's going to give me enough space and vice versa so I mean okay he's... so Rob do we have any more questions to Elite no not really except for saying good luck next uh, week for Netherlands 
Uh, yeah, another, exactly. another track that I'm, I'm pretty decent at, quality wise anyway. I don't know about my race pace. I don't. I think I've only ever done one league race around Zamvolt. So, you know, well, last three, yeah. last three we'll see how that race goes. on Zamvolt was in previous uh, game edition, and it was 100% uh, intermediate condition race. So, yeah. I don't but, have good memories about this track. <laughs> that's uh, uh, anyway. one thing I was praying for because when it started raining in quality. I was like, ah, oh, no, if it's a wet race, it's only going downhill from you. But luckily, the gods were with me, it stayed nice and sunny, and I could actually race, because you don't want to watch me race in the rain. You really, really don't. Uh, I feel that. So, uh, Elite, uh, thank you for joining us uh, tonight. Uh, Rob, uh, thank you for uh, sharing this uh, amazing race uh, with me tonight. And to our Twitch viewers, thank you for hanging out and uh, staying with us for that 90 minutes. Uh, and uh, sadly, I won't be able to join the comms booth uh, tomorrow, just live. Uh, but uh, for sure, uh, we will see you next week on Zanvort. Thank you all and have a beauty night. Ciao.